okay let us do another problem okay so so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to introduce some discontinuity in the profit function okay so how do i do that well what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, include costs okay and uh, the cost will be discontinuous okay so in the sense that uh, there is a fixed cost component to the cost function uh, which is not sunk okay so so let's let's uh, consider the same scenario that we have we, we are just doing okay and let's say the demand function is max of 12 minus q comma 0 okay and cost function of firm 1 is Okay, so let's say it is uh, okay. So let's say it's four if Q one is positive and zero if Q one is zero. Okay, and C two Q two is also like that. Okay, so C two Q two is four if Q2 is positive and zero if Q2 is zero. Okay, is that fine? Okay, again, you have to uh, first find the best response. Okay, so, so you have to first find BR1 Q2. Okay, by solving this maximization problem, which is maximized with respect to Q1 uh, max of 12 minus Q1 minus Q2 comma 0 times Q1 minus C1 Q1. Okay. Fine. If you want, you can also write cost function like this. It's four times the characteristic function okay 0 to infinity okay into q1 okay so that's another way of writing it okay Fine. so you want to maximize this with respect to q1 is that clear So this characteristic function is a function of q1 okay it's not this times q1 okay so whenever q1 is between 0 and infinity it's 1 okay whenever it is 0 then this will be 0 so this will be 0 okay so you have to maximize this okay so how do we do this one let me first consider that case when q2 is greater than or equal to 12 okay so if q2 is greater than or equal to 12 this will be zero now can you tell me what are you going to do if q2 is greater than or equal to 12 exactly you will choose zero units of output in this case you don't choose a positive output the reason is because now you have to incur some fixed cost if you want to produce a positive output okay so basically you know you maximize your profit at a single point which is zero okay now let's consider the case if q2 is less than 12 okay now if q2 is less than 12 definitely i'm not going to choose more than 12 minus q2 do you agree okay the reason why i'm not going to choose more than 12 minus q2 is because if i choose more than 12 minus q2 then this term becomes zero and I have to incur a fixed cost four. And I can do better by choosing zero units of output because I choose, if I choose zero units of output, I get zero. And if I choose more than 12 minus Q2, I get minus four. So clearly my profit will be like this. Okay, after 12 minus Q2, my profit will be like this. Is that clear? Okay, now at Q1 equal to zero, my profit is zero. So this is a point on the profit function. This is a point uh you know also on the profit function but notice that my profit is not continuous the reason why it is not continuous is because 
uh, you, you know you can see that uh, at zero the profit is zero and the moment I start producing okay uh, I have to incur you know the graph is going to go down by four okay this is like minus four so you have subtracted the entire profit function uh, so basically from the entire profit you have subtracted four so if you recall earlier your graph was like this right earlier your graph was like this yes okay so what is the difference between this problem and the earlier problem in this problem if you see this graph except this point will shift down by four units is that fine except this point everything else will go down by four because you have just subtracted four from it right if q1 is positive everything else is the same as the previous problem except that you are subtracting four from it have you all understood this okay so basically you are going to get this is that clear notice that there is a discontinuity this point and then this point and then like this okay now if this is a scenario can you tell me where is your profit maximized if this is a picture suppose this is the correct picture where is the profit maximized which q1 maximizes the profit zero you can see that zero maximizes the profit because uh, you know the entire graph sits below the horizontal axis except this point zero okay so and uh, what if the scenario is like this what do you think will maximize the profit if this is how it looks now what is what is the global earlier zero was the global maximum now tell me what is this point you already know this point you have done the previous problem is the same graph it's just that you have shifted it downward so the peak will be exactly at the same point 12 minus q2 by 2 okay so basically we don't know whether this is a situation or this is this is a situation we need to figure that out so how do we figure that out how do we figure it that out whether the situation is like this or like this what do i do to check whether we are it's like this or it's like this what should i do compare the points compare 0 and 12 minus q2 by 2 these are the two outputs right that i have to compare so i have to check what is my profit at this point i have to check what is my profit at this point and basically choose whichever go, whichever is going to give me higher profit is that okay okay so these are the two choices okay these are the two choices that i need to compare okay for q1 one is zero and the other is 12 minus q2 by 2 so if it's zero then my profit is zero right i know this okay right and if it's 12 minus q2 by 2 what is my profit well I have to use uh, this this expression to find my profit. Okay, so uh, so this is 12 minus Q2 by 2. Okay, so I'm going to get what 12 minus 12 minus Q2 by 2 minus Q2. That's a price times the quantity Q1. Q1 is 12 minus Q2 by 2. So 12 minus Q. 2 by 2 minus the cost since it is a positive output so the cost is 4 so that's my profit yes or no okay so if you just uh, simplify this it will boil down to this 12 minus q2 by 2 whole square minus 4 okay so this tells me that whether this is bigger than zero or not depends on what q2 is okay the reason is because if let's say q2 is uh, zero okay if q2 is zero then this is what six square 36 minus 4 32 and let's say if q2 is 10 if q2 is 10 then this is what 12 minus 2 uh, well uh, 12 minus sorry 12 minus 10 is 2 2 by 2 is 1 1 square minus 4 which is minus 3 so that depends on q2 right that depends on q2 well which is fine which is okay so basically i just need to figure out 
under what condition this is bigger than this and under what condition this is bigger than this okay so tell me what are we going to get 12 minus q2 by 2 whole square minus 4 is positive so i, I need to figure out the condition under which this is true okay so what i'm going to get 12 minus q2 by 2 is greater than 2 right and then take this to the other side you're going to get q2 is less than 8 right okay so if q2 is less than 8 then your best response is this because your profit is positive at this output when q2 is less than 8 okay fine so i can just write it like this that if q2 is less than 8 then there is a unique best response which is 12 minus q2 by 2 okay and if q2 is equal to 8 then you will get the same zero profit in both situations so you have two best responses if q2 is equal to 8 one is zero and the other is 12 minus q2 by 2 okay and if q2 is greater than 8 then zero does a better job than this this output because in this case your profit will be negative so you will choose zero so i can just you know instead of writing this as 12 i'll write this as 8 <clears throat> is that fine so that's the best response have you all understood this have you all understood this okay now next is just plotting it you know which is straightforward uh similarly you can do the same thing for player two okay so i'm not doing it uh you can try that on your own okay so we are going to plot it in q1 q2 space so again i'm going to plot this okay uh 12 minus q2 by 2 okay so if you remember earlier it was uh it was like this uh so q1 is equal to 12 minus q2 by 2 because when q2 is 12 q1 is 0 and uh, when q2 is 0 q1 is 6 okay so earlier it was like this so let me just draw what it was earlier but now notice that you know this is only applicable till 8 okay uh, i mean till 8 as in you know when q2 is between 0 and 8 so i'm going to put an 8 somewhere here okay and i'm going to erase this part okay so it is only applicable till this point at eight there are two best responses one is this point and the other is zero okay so these both these points are on uh on the best response okay and then when q2 is greater than eight then q1 is zero so i'm going to get this okay so okay let me use a different color just is that fine okay so this is the best response of player one okay similarly i can get the best response of player two okay so how do you how do i do that well uh so this is six okay and this is 12. okay again i'm going to draw a line connecting these two so let me use the different color okay and then uh you know because when q1 is greater than or equal to 8 then the best response is 0 so i'm going to uh, remove this part okay okay so here there are two best responses and then after that uh, you know this is how it's it's going to look so you can see that in this case we have only one nash equilibrium which is this point okay which is four four is that fine okay 